Nithyanandam everyone, my name is Prasidha, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about the reasons why I became vegetarian. And this is probably the most asked question of me by everyone that I encounter, about why specifically I stopped eating meat. Um, so I'm just going to get into that story a little bit. When we're little kids, we all have these grand ideas of who we are and who we want to be in the future. We have all these aspirations and we have no limits to them. We think, we can be, I can be a princess, I can be a warrior, I can be a police officer, I could be a doctor. And for me, what that was, was saving animals. And since second grade, I had heard of this like, endangered species and I was like, how does this exist? I didn't even know this was possible that we could take out a whole species of animal. And when I found out that elephants specifically were involved, I was just heartbroken because Ever since I can remember, they were just this huge part of my heart and life. And so I decided to take action and make a, attempt to make a charity with my good friend. And we went, little us went knocking door to door and tried to get some money from our neighbors. We raised about $50 um, to help save the animals, save the endangered species. Um, and that moment sticks out to me in my life because it was this time where I had these huge dreams, even in this little body, and I didn't let anything hold me back. And then life happened, and I just got weaved into the whole system of things. Uh, I was in the normal school system, I was raised by a pretty normal middle class family, and my diet consisted of meat. And there was never a question about that, because that was just everything I knew. And on top of that, I was I really ate horribly I was an extremely picky eater and all I ate were was meat and bread I wouldn't even eat fruit or vegetables and so I had this full-on addiction to meat pretty much because it was all I even like had a taste for I even craved it at times and so developing into my later years I would just think to myself all the time like I have a dog I have a cat why why do I love them and would be so upset if something happened to them but I just dissociate from this whole other s sector of animals these farm animals and I really was honest with myself on the inside but then I didn't change my actions so I started to see this violence within myself of how can I continue to kill and eat these animals but not others and so I started questioning and really really hating myself that I would continue to take those actions and continue to eat meat but I felt seriously out of control I felt like I couldn't stop I was really addicted to meat um, and so as I started to think about these things and I was learning about how factory farms are in America and I'm sure most of you already know a lot about that so I'm not really gonna go into those reasons because I know that animal cruelty is pretty well known at this point which is good um, but I think also it's sad because we've become extremely desensitized to it, including myself. I had seen all those videos from PETA about how horrific the slaughterhouses are, but I still was just like, oh, well, I'm gonna push that out of my mind, forget about it. Um, and so what really started shifting my cognition was when I found out how impactful factory farming and animal agriculture is on the environment. Um, for the last couple of years, environmental work has been my passion. Uh, definitely what I know that I want have my life for and so when I started realizing and learning from my classes in university and also my own research and documentaries that the number one cause of greenhouse gas emissions is factory farming I was utterly appalled and I knew I was like wow another reason that I should not be participating in this and I started to really see the hypocrisy in myself because I was working in this field but yet I was still consuming meat, which is the number one worst thing I could do for the planet in general. Um, and I'm gonna get a little bit into that. So I don't know if all of you are very familiar with the environmental impacts of meat in general and also animal byproducts, um, is that they account for 51% of greenhouse gas emissions. So we often are told that cars and transportation and other forms of energy are the number one or the only contributor to these greenhouse gases, but actually factory farming is. And on top of this, it's the number one cause of biodiversity loss. 
And so going back to that concept, when I had that attachment to these exotic animals like elephants in my childhood, I was thinking to myself, even if I don't love cows or pigs, it's also killing elephants, monkeys, all these beautiful species because of the deforestation that happens, clear cutting rainforests to provide food and land to grow more food for the animals that we consume. And I just was like, wow, this is insane. And on top of that, it's the number one cause, uh, one of the leading causes of uh, de deforestation, like I mentioned. And it t about one tenth as effective of an acre of land used for raising livestock as for raising plants. So it's extremely unsustainable, especially in a world where our population has grown four billion in the last couple decades. So when I was learning all these factors, I was just really pushed me to the almost to the very brink of wanting to be vegetarian but again I still was wary about making that choice because I was so caught in my patterns and the last thing that pushed me over the edge was actually the spiritual reasoning behind going vegetarian about what I learned from my guru and to get a little bit into that so there are three main levels of being in a human there's our muscle memory which is like our physical body um, and there's our bio memory, which is almost like our DNA, what makes us up, our patterns, our conceptions of life. And then there's our bio energy, which is almost like what some would call a soul, higher self, God particle. And when we consume another being, such as an animal, we are literally eating their bio memory. And so imagine what happens when animals who not only are being killed, but killed in traumatic ways in the United States, and they live their whole lives full of suffering are getting slaughtered and then you're consuming that pain and that trauma and so it actually instills massive levels of violence inside your system and you hold that in you that anger that fear and so believe it or not it actually makes those emotions and those patterns come out in your human body and so when I learned that in my first uh, my first retreat that I went to called inner awakening I was just I couldn't do it anymore because I was like if, if the outside reasons aren't enough right for, for your personal health and your personal well-being and your spiritual growth this is the reason to do it and the concept of nonviolence and oneness is the center of this right so Advaita is oneness and this term refers to the fact that my consciousness may be in a separate form in this plane but really all of us are connected right every being is part of the same collective consciousness so whenever I hurt or harm another being whenever I inflict violence on them all I'm doing is damaging myself and when we really think about it this is the truth it's just that we disconnect from it so much and the other concept that it in the Hindu world that the reasoning behind not killing animals not killing any living things is ahimsa or nonviolence again referring to the fact that how could you kill or harm another extension of your being? And this is a really beautiful way to live because it's the center of peace, true peace, and true oneness with everything around us. And so when I learned these concepts from Swamiji, I couldn't go back. And so from that moment, I had gone fully vegetarian. And since then, I haven't been a vegetarian. I have been a vegetarian for about two years now. And I just wanted to share these reasons because I was not familiar with them for a lot of my life and so I just wanted to share those with you guys and if the animal rights aren't enough for you if the planet and global warming isn't enough to do it or spiritual reasons one last category that I think is really fascinating to learn about is how detrimental meat is for your system on a physical and scientific level and actually medical journals are starting to really catch up with this so even the FAO, the Food and Agriculture Association of the United States government, has said that meat, the meat industry and meat in general and taking it is one of the worst things you can do for your body, um, red meat specifically. And the reason for this is actually when you stop eating meat, thousands of the population would actually be cut off from dying from heart disease and stroke just by cutting out red meat from their diet. And on top of this, from a humanitarian perspective, we are actually are growing enough food that is actually used for animal agriculture to feed farm animals that could feed the starving population three times over. So when we say that there's not enough food in the world, it's, it's a blatant lie. It's that we're channeling it into our f food 
and then eating that food then. So it's this, instead of getting the food directly, getting those nutrients from the source, we're putting them into a cow, a pig, a sheep, and then consuming them. And so it's this completely wasteful practice and not sustainable at all. And when we think about it from a compassion standpoint, it's, it's ludicrous that we would continue to consume something we know is so damaging to another human being as well. So I just want to share that after this transition in my life, this adopting this vegetarian lifestyle, I truly have never felt better physically. I've never felt better mentally and especially spiritually. I have to say that you, it may be an unexpected result, but my relationships with human beings have been so much different since I decided to make that decision because that violence that was stored in me from eating meat and that anger and resentment that would come up from it is really erased in a lot of ways and I can actually see that directly coming from eating meat and so that and also that comp that deep compassion that I have now for living beings translates to my relationships with human beings as well because even if we're um, we, even if we're showing violence towards a, a bug, a little bug, a dog, anything, when we're harboring that, that's still the truth inside ourselves. So that's going to come out in our personal relationships. So I can say that that's been one of the really amazing results of going vegetarian. So I hope that you can understand and see that there's many reasons why you can choose to be vegetarian and that it's just a beautiful way to live in every single aspect of your life. I really can't emphasize enough the benefits that this choice has brought to my life and any questions that you have for me about what I've talked about whether it's something maybe more in depth about the environmental issues that I was referring to any impact or the spiritual concepts that I was talking about I can make more videos and explain those concepts just comment and let me know what you have questions about what you want to know more about any like questions that you really have are coming up in your system and I just want to be here to help you in any way to better understand what this will mean for yourself and your life and um, to help you just any hopefully make the transition to the vegetarian diet or just expand your understanding on why myself and many others have chosen this lifestyle so thank you so much for listening to my video and I'll catch you guys later just let me know like share comment subscribe and talk to you soon thank you <laughs>